And then Casey brought up Sam Hartman. Well, let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Wake Forest wins, and boy, do we have some crazy numbers on this one. Wake Forest 70, Army 56. And Wake's postgame win expectancy 62% in this game. Brother, in, in, in this spot. Wake's time of possession, 17 minutes, 17 seconds. And scored 70 points. And it, it was not... So, so let me... Stat of the weekend. Stat of the week. Jeff Fogel on Twitter, uh, which you should find. He's, he covers games and whatnot for, uh, for VSIN, so the Vegas Stats and Information Network. They won in a flag football game played on ice, is what he said. <laughs> That's exactly what this was. They won yardage, 638 to 595. They won yards per play, 12.2 to 7.2. Uh, third downs... They converted 88% of their third downs to only 60% for Army, which 60% is a damn good day. They won turnovers two to nothing. They won drive points. Listen to these drive points. This was not fluky. This was not, you know, they got short fields, anything like that. They scored 56 points on drives that went over 60 yards. Like, only three touchdowns all game came relatively cheap. Army ran 83 plays to only 52 and again, they won time of possession 43-17, to 17, but they could not stop Wake Forest. The claw fence is legit. Hey, this is somebody. If I'm Virginia Tech, maybe I'd go after Dave Clawson. I don't know that they could get him. I but they can get him. I don't, but that's somebody you gotta, you got to shoot for. Every, every job opening should be calling Dave Clawson, at least to sit down and see, are you interested? And, and what are you thinking? And, and maybe this Clawson, guy can des- yeah, maybe this he guy can design it. an offense, man. Oh, it's, he can design an offense, and it's not just the offense. It is like he he understands what his team is good at, and he puts them in good situations, right? That's true. Yeah, that's like, true. No, but but I'm telling you, man, this guy, these guys, <laughs> everybody in the world had Army picked as an upset. Every person I listened to on the planet said either stay away or play Army because this is – and I just said no. Wake Forest, go kill them. That's Wake, a, it, Army hadn't seen an offense like this all year, and, man, this was a close. Yeah, no, it, I, I had Wake on the Bet U.S. show, and and I had – you know, the guys were like, eh, you know, you never know with this. And I said, I said no, 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 this is, like, ridiculous. No chance. I, I trust Wake to be able to score on this defense over and over and over again. And they did it. Uh, Christian right. Anderson, like, started the game, the, the Army quarterback. It, it wasn't because the quarterback was out. Like, Christian didn't play all that much. This is, like, the third game that he's – he missed two straight yep. games and then missed the majority of this one. But it's not like Army couldn't move the football. It's not like Army so, lost because of their offense. So, Wake Wake has got some, some challenges ahead, okay? They had Duke. They go to North Carolina. Yep. They, they got NC State. I know it got beat, but still. They got at Clemson and at BC. Can they run this thing? No. I don't think so either. I no. think one of those three, one of those, I think three of three of those are going to be close, and one of them is going to get them. It's, it's a lot of toss-ups. Uh, I could – my, I want my to guess, see them run it. I want to see them versus Pitt because I think they're clearly the two best teams in the ACC. My, I want to see them versus Pitt. Bad. I would. I would love to see that. I would. Uh, Bill Conley actually tweeted out last night. He was like, uh, "The dream is still alive for eleven and one Pitt against twelve and zero Wake Forest." And yes, yeah, it, that would be yes. a lot of fun to me. Uh, because we it, who who did Wake Forest play in the ACC title game back in like six when Jim Grobe was the coach? I cannot oh, remember. Jesus. They I won, have no idea. They won it like nine to six. Ago. Yeah, but no, was, we won't get that in, against Pitt. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, this is. Hey, by the way, I I went five, two, and one against the number on the on Bet US this week. So not uh not too shabby. Sam Hartman in this game, twenty three out of twenty nine, four hundred fifty eight yards, five touchdowns was awesome, awesome. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, they're they're up on schedule. Uh, pretty difficult. Pretty difficult. So that moves Army to uh, four and three. Moves Wake Forest to seven and and. A lot of fun. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.